In this tutorial, we will take a look at two components of the OpenOffice.org Office Suite, which is one of the productivity applications included with Ubuntu Linux. The OpenOffice.org Office Suite is found under Applications and Office, and there are four components included with Ubuntu Linux. The database, the presentation program, the spreadsheet, and the word processor. In this tutorial, we will take a look at the database and the presentation program. Now, OpenOffice.org base is is the is the component of openoffice.org that is similar to Microsoft Access. It's intended to be an easy way to create a database for a variety of purposes. When the database is first run, uh, a graphical wizard will appear that allows one to sort of step through the creation of a new database, opening an existing database, or connecting to an existing database. There's lots of different options that are available with uh, creating a database and it can get fairly complex but the, uh, the the database wizard does make it very easy and it is very similar to, to Microsoft Access. As you can see there's a way to view uh, the tables, one to uh, to run queries, create forms is very easy to do, run reports based on the data in the database and uh, the openoffice.org base program has a menu bar at the very top, which is also similar to Microsoft Access. There's a lot of different options that are available here, ways to insert forms and reports, queries. One can, can run queries, create macros, do all sorts of customization to, to the database. The icon bar contains shortcuts to a lot of the different steps necessary to create the database and maintain the database, ways to sort the data. And again, it's very easy to view the tables in raw form. And under tools, uh, there is a one uh, of the entries in the menu is entitled options. And this is a way to open up the openoffice.org options. This will change based on which OpenOffice.org component one is using, although this initial set under OpenOffice.org itself is sort of across the board. In other words, this, this information here can be, can be uh, accessed from any of the OpenOffice.org components because these settings apply to all of the OpenOffice.org components. But as you can see, there is an open or a closed selection here called openoffice.org base where one can define general settings for the base aspect or component of openoffice.org. Now the other piece of openoffice.org that we'll take a look at during this tutorial is entitled presentation. Now this is intended to be somewhat similar to PowerPoint. It's a way to create a, a presentation that can be used either on screen or perhaps projected over a projector or even printed out on paper. There are very nice templates that are included with openoffice.org and of course there are more that one can be that can be downloaded off the internet and of course one can also create their own templates. But one can create from a template uh, which will get you started at least. And you can see there are presentation backgrounds and then there are also presentation templates that, that create an entire look for the whole presentation. Choosing one of these uh, templates will show you uh, in the preview screen what it will look like. And then clicking next can, uh, can start uh, the program itself and then begin the creation of the presentation very easily. And as you will see, it's very similar to PowerPoint in that it has sort of an outline view and a slide view and a notes view and a handout view, all of those of which can be seen here in the middle, clicking on different tabs, outline, uh, notes, was very similar. One could create notes that, that, that perhaps the presenter can use while making the presentation. You know, notes can be added to just the presenter's a printout. Here's a handout that shows you multiple slides per page in very small thumbnails. And of course, one can create and select how many slides per page are viewed. Uh, there's a slide uh, sorter option uh, where one can very easily change the order of the slides. There, in, in normal mode is the way to uh, create actually create and edit each slide right on the slide itself. There's also different layouts, sort of little templates for layouts on the right-hand side, where you can have perhaps maybe two sections. You can have one heading, maybe just a title. There's a title plus a chart. There's lots of different template layouts available for the user to create each particular slide. Uh, again, just like with the database program, there's a menu a bar at the top 
with lots of different options. And again, under tools, you will see that, that options selection, which contains the options across the board for openoffice.org and for the presentation component itself, which is called impress. This is where you can make uh, specific settings for impress alone that only apply to impress. And of course, uh, all of this information can be saved in open document format or open standards. That is to say document formats that are not proprietary, such as some of the Microsoft uh, document formats, which can only be opened by Microsoft applications. It's also very easy to export a lot of this data as PDF documents. That is a built-in tool in the openoffice.org office Office suite almost across the board. And of course, one can print and do a print preview and save the uh, presentation in a variety of ways. So that is a very quick view of openoffice.org impress and openoffice.org base, which are the database and the presentation components of the openoffice.org office suite. And that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much.